Now let's see the ability of the neocognitron. Using the principle of the neocognitron, we have designed a system which can recognize handwritten numerals. This system is operating on a mini computer, and it can even operate on a microcomputer. Let's draw a numeral 2 on the tablet. From the analysis of the stimulus features, the input pattern is recognized as 2. In the deepest layer, you see 4 at the extreme right. Only cell 2 has been activated. This means that the neocognitron has recognized the input pattern correctly. Now let's draw another pattern. I can recognize the handwritten numerals. You've just drawn the numeral 5. The neocognitron correctly judges that the input pattern is 5. Now the response of the cells of the network to various patterns will be shown. You will see first how a shift in the position of an input pattern affects the response of the neocognitron. If an input pattern is presented in a different position, the response of cells in intermediate layers, especially those near the input layer, varies with the shift. However, the deeper the layer is, the smaller is the variation in response. The cells of the deepest layer are not affected at all by a shift in position of the input pattern. You will see next how the neocognitron correctly recognizes input patterns when they are distorted. As may be seen in this picture, even though the input pattern has been increased or diminished in size or is skewed in shape, the response of the cells of the deepest layer is not affected. But sometimes when the input pattern has been distorted too much from the training pattern, the response of the cells in the deepest layer is weak, but still a response is elicited from the correct cell. The neocognitron can be trained to recognize not only Arabic numerals, but also other sets of patterns like alphabets, geometrical shapes or others. Hence it is also possible to design a neocognitron as a universal pattern recognizer, which can be used after training for an individual purpose. As has been demonstrated here, the neocognitron has many remarkable properties which modern computers and pattern recognizers do not have yet. We are continuing our research and we hope to develop an artificial brain closer to the human brain.